Hello guys, it's Stryker. Welcome back to another video, man. So today we're going to be talking about the UEFA Champions League uh, quarterfinal and the uh, semifinal draw. Um, so yeah, this happened yesterday. I'm kind of late. You know what? Yeah, I I'm a busy person, man. I got work and I got business, so uh, I got things to take care of. So I'm a, I'm a little bit late on it, man. So uh, crazy draw. So um, the first draw was uh, Ajax versus uh, Juventus. Um, <laughs> Yo, Ajax vs Juventus, man. Ajax did very well to get to um, get this far, man. But I think the road might end for them right now, man. I know they pull off America versus Real Madrid, man. But I don't really see that happening to Juventus. Real Madrid team was pretty much in chaos. Uh, being coached by um, Solari. Solari wasn't doing a very good job coaching. The players wasn't up for it. And uh, aging team, they was, they was not ready, man. And Ajax was um, pull off a miracle at Burnham Bay. I actually have a, a very young team, very energetic players. They're playing fantastic football right now, and they're doing a very good job, man. So we got to give um, Ajax a lot of credit to get it this far, man. Shout out to all the Ajax fans out there. But Juventus is just like a whole different beast than Real Madrid um, at this moment. Uh, Juventus has Ronaldo. You saw what Ronaldo did to um, Atletico Madrid after they thought they won it. Uh, pretty much scored a hat trick. <laughs> it, it, this guy is just crazy. This guy is just a goal. Is the goal, man. So Juventus have a, a better squad than Real Madrid. They meet coach better and have a better structure and um, better. Uh, they're playing better right now, man. Better form. And they're pretty much undefeated right now in the Serie A. Might go finish the season undefeated, which would be a great achievement for them. But yeah, man, I, I see Juventus winning this one. Um, I don't think it's going. I don't think it's not. I don't think it's going to be even close, man. I, I see Juventus going through. Uh, next one, uh, Liverpool versus uh, Porto, man. I think Liverpool. Is paying somebody off or something, man? Because they get in Porto in the um quarter uh, in the quarterfinals is ridiculous. Uh, I believe they got Porto last year in the round of sixteen. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, round of sixteen, and they destroyed Porto. Uh, when blowing them out um in the first game in Porto and winning um by a small margin in um Liverpool, man, because they pretty much already won the game in the second leg, so they just used most of their uh, subs and. Uh, Probably a youth player here in there, man. So I see Liverpool winning this one easily. I think it's going to be a big blow again, especially if money continues his form and Salah pick up form. Firmino might, st might finally start scoring goals again. Uh, they got Van Dijk in defense. Yeah. Liverpool clear, man. I think this is the, probably the easiest um, fixture that Liverpool could have got except uh, them and uh, Ajax, man. So Liverpool going through easily, in my opinion. Uh, Tottenham versus uh, Man City, man. So this. So pretty much, Man City gonna play Tottenham like three times in in, in three weeks, so which is crazy. Uh, two two Premier League teams are uh, playing each other. The only um, two Premier League teams to play to play each other right now in the quarterfinal because our uh, Premier League team dominating right now. They, they still got four teams out of um, the eight teams, man. So you know this is bound to happen. And um, Tottenham versus um, City, man. City is on great form right now. As I'm making this video, they're down right now to Swansea City in the uh, is Swansea. I believe it's Swansea. Yeah, I th yeah, they're down right now in the FA Cup game versus Swansea. Uh, Swansea always beat them in like in, in like the, the the um Capital One Cups and the uh, FA Cups, man. So Swansea, Swansea is a pretty much the um the giant uh, city's giant killer. But yeah, man, City's on great form though, man. The way they blow a shark out the water, uh, winning the game, uh, winning the um the two legged series on a ten to uh aggregate is just ridiculous. Tottenham. Uh, they are a very good team. They're very, they're very good right now, especially in the um, Champions League. They're doing very well, being a Dortmund, and they pretty much beat anybody and uh, play very well versus everybody right now in the in the Champions League. But the league form is like uh, uh, ups and down, man. But they, they've been caught very well, man. Pochettino deserve, deserve a lot of credit. Harry Kane is on form. Son is 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 all right, I guess. Um, Tottenham didn't Tottenham didn't spend any money, man. To get this far right now, man, Tottenham did not spend any money. They did not buy any players in the transfer windows. Not nothing like that, man. And that's how good they are, man. And I don't know, man. Um, I, I think City's gonna win this, but it's gonna be very close. I think Tottenham's gonna give them a hard fight. You never know. Tottenham might pull out one out from out the. I don't know where they're gonna pull it out from, but they might pull up one over City, man. But my money's on City, man. If uh, if they really want to win it, they gotta get past Tottenham. Really, nothing. Nothing more, nothing less to say about that. Uh, Barcelona versus United, man. Uh, my money is on United to go through to the next round. I mean, sorry, my money is on Barcelona, man. Barca to go through the next round, man. Messi's on form. He's on fire right now. Last game versus uh, 
Um, Leon uh, scoring two goals and um, two assists, man. He provide and he scores, man. And uh, Barcelona is on good form right now, especially in the league. Then, then like three different competition, man. Uh, Copa, I mean uh, Copa del Rey, uh, Champions League, and and they're pretty much in the in the pole position right now is to win uh, La Liga. So Barcelona is on great form. You can say the same with uh, Man United too, man. Under the new coach, uh, Solcher, uh, yeah, Solcher, Solcher. Uh, they're doing very good, man. Arsenal is the only team to really stop them, to defeat them under Solcher, man. So. Um, they beat PSG, so they're buzzing right now after beating PSG, coming from behind to really beat PSG in Paris. That was a great achievement. That was a great series by them. And uh, they're in great form right now, man. And they're still in two competition. Uh, they could still win the FA Cup, and they're still in the Champions League, and they're trying to get top four. Um, but will they get past Barcelona? You never know, man. Pogba is back. Pogba was out for the uh, PSV clashes. And uh, I'm not sure if he's going to be suspended for the first game in this one or he's going to be back officially. But I know he's going to play at least one leg in this game. So the first game going to be in, uh, um, is I believe it to be in um, at Camp Nou in Barcelona. So they should be able to win at home. But you never know, man. This, this United team is just like motivated. Um, they're fighters and they want it, man. So you never know what you're going to get from them. Because if a team's going to fight you, not going to defend, not going to back down from you, you definitely could have, you definitely have a good opportunity versus them. And I could see United, man, pulling out one, pulling out America versus um, Barcelona, man. But I don't think it's going to be that easy. But I do have Barcelona, man. Messi is on far, man. They got Dembele. They got Suarez. They got Coutinho who's scoring now. And they have um, my boy uh, Arthur. Um, having like hella good passes, like one of the best passes right now. He's on great form, and so I see Barcelona go through. Um, it's gonna be close though. So I asked versus Juventus. I got uh, Juventus, Liverpool versus Porto. I got uh, Liverpool. I got um, uh, Tottenham versus uh, Man City. I got uh, Manchester City. Um, Barcelona versus Manchester United. I got Barcelona. Uh, for the semi final, man. So they're doing it different now. So they pretty much pick the semi final in advance. So whoever win between uh Manchester United and Barcelona, they're gonna play Porto or Liverpool, man. Imagine that, bro. The North um the Northwest is it Northwest? Yeah, Northwest Derby. Uh Liverpool versus Manchester City in the semifinal of the Champions League. That would be crazy. That'd be freaking bananas, man. So um yeah, man. I see. I definitely gonna see Barcelona versus um Liverpool. That should be a very interesting game. Uh, my boy uh, Suarez reuniting with his former team Liverpool, man. Listen, <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Suarez and Coutinho, man, coming back home to Liverpool. That'd be freaking awesome. That'd be crazy. So, um, yeah, it could be interesting to see um, who, who, who play who. Um, we got Tottenham versus... Uh, so, it's, uh, the next one will be Tottenham or City versus Ajax or Juventus, man. That should be a, a crazy one. Uh, City versus Juventus, man. Uh, oh, my God. That'd be, that'd be spectacular, man. That'd be very, very crazy, man. So... Um, who knows, man? Where uh, what's gonna happen, man? My predictions uh, aren't aren't like the best, man. This like this year, Champions League is very interested. Um, it's very interesting because we see a lot of surprises. Ajax, we see um, what United did, man. So nothing is guaranteed, man. Nothing is guaranteed. Prediction is not always correct, man. So I want to know you guys' prediction. We think gonna make it around out of the, um, the quarterfinals. We think gonna. Uh, play in the semifinals and who's going to go to the final. Let me know, man. Let me know what team you support too, man. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment, share this video, and check out my other videos. With that, you boys out of here. Peace.